A new study combines evolutionary genomics from coronavirus samples with computer simulated epidemics and detailed travel records to reconstruct the spread of coronavirus across the world in unprecedented detail. Published in the journal Science, the results suggest an extended period of missed opportunity when intensive testing and contact tracing might have prevented SARS-CoV-2 from becoming established in North America and Europe. The paper also challenges suggestions that linked the earliest known cases of COVID-19 on each continent in January to outbreaks detected weeks later, and provides valuable insights that could inform public health response and help with anticipating and preventing future outbreaks of COVID-19 and our aspiration was to develop and apply powerful new technology to conduct a definitive analysis of how the pandemic unfolded in space and time, across the globe, said University of Arizona researcher Michael Wobey, who led an interdisciplinary team of scientists from 13 research institutions. These efforts quickly grew into a worldwide effort unprecedented in scale and pace and have yielded tens of thousands of genome sequences, publicly available in databases. Contrary to widespread narratives, the first documented arrivals of infected individuals traveling from China to the U.S. and Europe did not snowball into continental outbreaks, the researchers found. Instead, swift and decisive measures aimed at tracing and containing those initial incursions of the virus were successful and should serve as model responses directing future actions and policies by governments and public health agencies, the study's authors conclude. How the virus arrived in the U.S. and Europe A Chinese national flying into Seattle from Wuhan, China on January 15 became the first patient in the U. S shown to be infected with the novel coronavirus and the first to have a SARS-CoV-2 genome sequenced. This patient was designated WA1. It was not until six weeks later that several additional cases were detected in Washington state. And while all that time goes past, everyone is in the dark and wondering, what's happening? Wobi said. We hope we're okay, we hope there are no other cases, and then it becomes clear, from a remarkable community viral sampling program in Seattle, that there are more cases in Washington and they are genetically very similar to WA1's virus. Wobi and his collaborators tested the prevailing hypothesis. Although the genomes sampled in February and March share similarities with WA1, they are different enough that the idea of WA1 establishing the ensuing outbreak is very unlikely, they determined. Please support our channel to grow by pressing subscribe button as well as the bell icon for daily science updates. Thank you.